recording. Hello, everyone. I am Bianca, and this is Tanner. We are your Common Sense Editors, here every Tuesday to walk through a different tool that you can use in your classroom. What do you have for us today, Tanner? We're going to talk Ozaria at ozaria.com. And this is um, by the Code Combat team, if any of you are familiar with that tool. Uh, this team has been really been working to try and bridge the gap between computer science and gaming in interesting ways. And Code Combat is a long running platform at this point that's really proven, really successful. And now they've created this Ozaria program that is like a full curriculum for computer science education that is super impressive, um, very extensive, could really be the anchor of a computer science program for you. Um, so let's take a look at it. Note it is um, free to try, but you will have to pay for it. Uh, but it is pretty extensive. I mean, it covers grades three to 12, um, just available on the web as well. And here I've logged into a trial account. And the thing with the trial is you get the first chapter free and it is quite a lot of content. Um, and you can spend as much time in that first chapter as you want, really digging in. So it's a great trial, I would say, as far as free trials go. Um, and you can see I'm logged in here. You can add your classes. There's a nice teacher dashboard that'll track student progress really effectively. I can't really show you that because I don't have a full classroom with a lot of different progress. So um, there's also a place to track any student projects, a big part of this is students contribute um, their like capstone projects for each um, chapter of the program. And then there's a really exceptional PD experience. Um, this PD is extensive. I think it's somewhere in the range of 30 to 40 hours, but could be a great option over the summer, for instance, if you really want to brush up on um, your kind of computer science skills before teaching Ozaria. But the thing is, you don't need any computer science expertise to teach Ozaria. So let's take a look at what this kind of looks like. And here we've moved into the game experience. Um, and the thing with, uh, the oh, it's really loud on my end, but you're not hearing that, so that's good. <laughs> Let me see if I can somehow turn the sound off. There we go. Okay. So the thing about Ozaria is what you do is you do real coding and you can choose between Python and JavaScript and you code on the right here. And then on the screen, you control a character in a kind of adventure game. And this will look familiar to anyone who's done any sort of game-based coding. Um, and the nice thing is, you know, you have your character and you can type your commands here. So we want this character to move over here. Well, actually, there's already some scripts running in there. So you can run the existing code, see what happens with the character on the screen. So you see the character um, moved left three square or three positions, moved up, moved left, use the lever. And now we've got to have it move over to this door here and open that door. So we would add a hero, move left, one. Um, and you can see it pre-populates. It's got a nice code bank here that'll explain everything. And as you type, it'll pre-populate. I think you could turn that off. You can here in the, in the settings, which is great. Um, so if you want students to, or you have for more advanced students who really want to challenge themselves to not, use the autocomplete and really get the syntax right, you can do that. It's also a screen reader mode, which is pretty neat. Um, so we can run it again. You can see here it kind of plays down almost like a video and you can skip ahead if you want. You can see the character moved left and then we would add something like use door, run it again jump ahead and you can see now the door is open. So you keep doing that until you solve each level and you can see it's got your little goals here. Um, and that's kind of how it 
it goes. They have the instructions. But to me, the really outstanding thing, this is a, a great kind of game-based program, but to me, the, the really outstanding thing is this, which is the curriculum guide. So this, I'm throwing a lot at you here. It's, it looks really complicated. And no, this is just, there's four chapters. So this is just chapter one here, and you can see how much is involved. You know, there's four chapters of content, really extensive. Um, every chapter comes with lesson slides that are great and structure the lessons really effectively. So we'll kind of run through that here. You kind of, you, this is lesson two. So there's, you know, there's a section here just to kind of recap and then to preview what what everyone's gonna be doing in the class. There's some direct instruction here. And one great thing that every lesson it feels has some kind of SEL connection. So, you know, here it's about when you're coding, you've got to embrace mistakes. It's part of the deal, right? You're gonna get things wrong, kind of move past it. It's a real nice focus throughout. Then they have these concept checks. And this, I think I have one of these open here. So these are kind of the quizzes and these get tracked in the dashboard and you have to drag and drop. And you can kind of check how you did and it lets you know if you did it right or not. And then it'll go into some of this, there's cut scenes throughout to give you kind of a little story and framing for what's going on as well as some instruction. Um, and then eventually you get to the, in the lesson slides to independent practice. And this is where then students in the classroom are meant to just kind of go off on their own and go through those game based um, uh, examples. There's also, along with the independent practice, extension activities, which are great um, for at home work or in the class. If students finish early, they could do an extension activity. Let me see, do I have, yeah, here's, here's an example of that. This is a great slide-based one where, say a student finishes early, they got through that little game-based portion, you can say, hey, here's an extension activity, you can share it with them. And what they end up doing is using these sort of, these visual indicators to make their own little map in the game. And then you can actually use that map to write some code to kind of navigate the map you create. So kind of neat little side activities. Um, and then there's always check-ins, and then a sort of wrap up, just perfectly structured, I would say. And then, you know, of course, that's just, you know, one lesson along this huge um, uh, curricular pathway. And it's really like, this one's 10 sessions. I think each session is about an hour. Chapter two is 30, chapter three is 34, chapter four is 28. So this is a lot. You know, I think they have somewhere in here, like um, a 19 week pathway. Here it is, this pacing guide. It's a 19 week pacing guide. They've also got a great kind of scope and sequence that'll let you know everything that's covered. I mean, it's got everything. <laughs> everything you need. Sure. And I think this is super rare, right? In, in terms of games that they have such an extensive guide along with it that's awesome yeah you see a lot of people playing with teaching coding through games i don't know that we've seen anything with this much extra stuff to help you um, teach it well and structure it really well you know between all of these curricular supports um all the lesson supports and then this amazing pd course that you can do it's, you know, it's one of the best out there now, I think. Of course, this all comes with the caveat that we only looked at the first chapter um, of Rosaria, so we haven't really dug in, but we did a pretty extensive um, look at the first chapter and we're very impressed. So definitely something we think you should check out if this is interesting to you. That's awesome, thanks, Sinner. So you can check out more reviews like this on our website, commonsense.org slash education. And you can check out uh, a, a bunch of more episodes too on the YouTube channel. 
as I pull up this banner here, where are we? I was so, I put it on full screen. I was deep into it. I was watching you play the game. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.